Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be diving into the incredible history of painting and the evolution of the paint industry. So, if you're ready to ride along this color-filled journey, let's jump right in. Imagine this. The art and science of painting actually go back more than 30,000 years. Yes, you heard that right. Our ancient ancestors started this artistry, painting their lives on cave walls with primitive yet striking images that are still visible to us today. Fast forward to a few centuries later, painting began to evolve with the development of better methods and materials. It became a means of artistic expression and also served as a functional tool. Now, here's a fun fact for you. The first recorded paint mill in America was constructed in Boston by Thomas Child in the year 1700. And the first ever ready-to-use paints for consumers? Those were brought to life about 150 years later by none other than D. R. Averill in Ohio. The paints were a hit. But there was a catch, they were pretty heavy and expensive to ship around the country. But, as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. When methods of mass production became available, manufacturers started producing paint more efficiently and setting up smaller factories nationwide. This distributed manufacturing system revolutionized the industry and lasted well into the mid-20th century. Fast forward to the 1940s, and we witness another huge leap in the paint industry, the invention of the aerosol can. This wonder was originally created by the military to dispense insecticide, but innovators quickly saw its potential in other areas, including spray paint. The Chase Company in Chicago was at the forefront of this revolution. Initially licensed to make aerosol mosquito repellents. They later used similar technology to become the first commercial producers of spray paint in the early 1950s. Since its inception, the spray paint industry has flourished, despite facing numerous challenges. In the late 70s, due to environmental concerns, paints were banned from using chlorofluorocarbon propellant, or CFCs, due to their role in ozone depletion. Then in the late 90s, California's Air Resource Board imposed limits on the use of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, in spray paint, as they contribute to air pollution. These changes significantly affected the formulation of spray paint, but even so, the popularity of spray paint never waned. In fact, in 1997 alone, nearly 25 million gallons of spray paint were produced in the United States. And there you have it, folks the vibrant journey of the painting industry, despite the ups and downs, the passion for color, and creativity has stood the test of time. Remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting history journeys. Stay colorful, stay curious. Until next time.